Amari screamed in shock as the crocodile emerged multiple times from the water to try and bite his leg. When we ask people which among all of the animals is the scariest, we bet that most of them will answer that the crocodile is. It truly is one of the scariest animals around. Due to their large jaws and intense bite force, crocodile attacks are said to be 100 times deadlier than shark bites. That's why they are among the terrifying apex predators on the planet. Crocodile attacks have become a growing concern in some countries with large concentrations of crocodiles due to the casualties, damages, and lives lost. Every year, one to two people fall victim to the jaws of a hostile crocodile. Some people believe it is almost impossible to escape from a crocodile due to its power. But today's video will feature three of the most bone-chilling and terrifying crocodile attack stories you shouldn't see. Story 1 The first story features an African fisherman named Amari, who almost became a crocodile's meal at Lake Victoria. Amari is a regular fisherman who goes to Lake Victoria daily to fish for perch and tilapia. He's been doing this for years now. He's also aware of the dangers of the lake, including the infamous killer crocodile lurking around. He had previously encountered crocodiles, but he's fortunate for he had never been attacked or approached by one. Thus, he's always confident that everything will be fine every time he goes fishing. One day, Amari went out on his boat to fish for perch and tilapia at the lake. Amari fishes after paddling the boat to a location where he lowers his net. Every single day, he makes a good catch. He fishes, then sits on his boat and takes a break, gazing at the lake's still waters. He also saw other fishermen sailing in their boats to catch fish on their own. Amari watches them as he begins to eat his packed lunch on the boat to rest after catching fish. Amari noticed something moving under the water. He initially shrugged it off as he thought this was another fish. Amari assumed that it would not attack him if it were a crocodile. He keeps eating until he senses something bump his boat from below, which causes him to drop his food. Amari stood up in frustration as he looked at the surprisingly calm waters. He stood there for a couple of minutes, trying to figure out what bumped into his boat, but he couldn't find any. He looked at the other fisherman in the distance and was doing just fine, making him think more. A few minutes later, he felt another bump underneath, causing him to fall on his back on the boat. And if it weren't bad enough, a crocodile jumped out of the water, bit him, and sent him into a death roll. Amari screamed in shock as the crocodile emerged multiple times from the water to try and bite his leg. Amari was squirming at the boat and trying to stand up when the crocodile finally bit his leg and dragged him into the water. Before the crocodile dragged him, Amari grabbed onto his paddle and brought it with him as the crocodile's teeth were now penetrating his leg. Under the water, Amari struggled to kick his legs to escape the crocodile's jaws, but it was of no use. He used the paddle in his hand to hit the crocodile in the face multiple times. When he realized that the crocodile wouldn't let go of his leg, he used the paddle's handle to poke its eye. And there, the crocodile immediately released his leg, allowing him to swim back to his boat and escape the lake. As soon as he returned to his boat, he immediately paddled back to the shore. After escaping the lake, he realized the crocodile's bite severely wounded his leg. Still, he's thankful he made it out from the crocodile. Story 2 Another story tells how two American tourists named Brent and Clarice survived an almost death roll from an aggressive Nile crocodile. American tourist and wildlife enthusiast Brent and Clarice were on a trip to the Nile River to explore and catch footage of different wildlife. They loved going to various rivers as they always wanted to get a glimpse of nature. Most significantly, they have a shared interest in crocodiles. Moreover, they've also been vlogging about crocodiles on every trip. They are dedicated to capturing the most detailed and up-close shots of crocodiles. This time, they wanted to capture footage of the infamous Nile crocodile, considered the most dangerous crocodile species on the planet. 
Brent and Clarice prepared a picnic on the banks of the Nile River before trying to plunge into its waters for a swim and get a glimpse of the Nile crocodile if they're lucky enough. They enjoyed eating their packed lunches as they thought of ways that could attract the crocodile and get close to them. Crocodiles are very attracted to noise. What if we make a loud sound that they could hear even in the distance, Clarice suggested. Brent was somewhat skeptical about Clarice's plan, knowing they were dealing with the most dangerous crocodile species ever. He still wanted to ensure that what they were doing was safe and would not harm the two of them. They're the most dangerous crocodiles, remember? Brent answered. Clarice heaved a deep sigh and stared at the waters beside them. It seemed like she agreed with Brent. Before she could even say anything more, Brent noticed something bizarre at the same riverbank they were in, just a few meters away. It was the Nile crocodile, resting and frozen at its place. Brent slowly poked Clarice's shoulder and told her to keep quiet before pointing to the resting crocodile in the distance. When Clarice turned to look at it, she tried her best not to scream as the crocodile was only a few meters away from where they were now picnicking. Clarice grabbed her camera from her bag and quietly took footage of the crocodile. They thought they were lucky as the crocodile was not moving and only resting to cool its body down. With this, Clarice decided to stand up and move closer to the crocodile to get the closest footage she could get. Brent also stood up and followed her. The crocodile unexpectedly jumped to bite Clarice with its jaws, which caused Clarice to step back in horror and drop her camera in front of the furious crocodile. It was as unexpected as it could be. The two were terrified and backed away as the crocodile approached them slowly. Clarice stared at her camera just right in front of the crocodile. She was hesitant to escape because she had all her footage on that camera. Brent was begging her that they should leave, but she just stood there. While staring at the camera, the crocodile launched another attack at Clarice. Luckily, Brent managed to grab her by the shoulders and pull her away from the crocodile's jaws. There, he held Clarice's hand as he forced her to flee together and run as fast as they could, not caring about the camera anymore. After running for a few minutes, the two looked back and saw they had lost the crocodile. Clarice regrets losing the camera, but at least she didn't lose her life from their encounter. Story 3 The last story features a handler at an Australian zoo named Timmy James and his incredible experience with their trained crocodile, Zack. Timmy is working as a handler for the zoo's trained crocodile, Zack. Zack has been in the zoo since it was a hatchling, which means that it's been trained to follow commands from its keepers, especially Timmy, its handler. Timmy and Zack were always the stars of every feeding show held at the zoo. Timmy would enter Zack's enclosure to feed him meat by hand and not get attacked, which the visitors at the zoo find amusing. Timmy has loved interacting with Zack ever since. Today is another crocodile feeding show, and every visitor has been excited to see how Timmy feeds the colossal Zack. As soon as the show starts, Timmy enters Zack's enclosure a concrete platform on top of an artificial pool made just for the crocodile. Zack was lying there on the platform as he waited for Timmy, approaching him with a bucket full of meat. Timmy waved and smiled at the crowd before getting a piece of meat from the bucket. The visitors closely watched him. He showed it first to the public before commanding Zack to open his mouth. Zack opened his mouth wide slowly, amusing the group and waited for the meat to be placed into his mouth by Timmy's hand. Timmy slowly stretched his arms and attempted to feed Zack by hand. When Zack unexpectedly closed his mouth when Timmy's arms were halfway inside, the crowd was shocked as Timmy panicked and tried to pry Zack's jaws. Still, Zack only dragged him under the water, which made other zoo handlers concerned about the situation. Desperate to escape, Timmy was forced to fight out of Zack's jaws. He kicked and punched Zack multiple times until he decided to gouge Zack's eye with his hand and swam back up. As soon as he was back on the platform, he immediately escaped the enclosure as the other zoo handlers assisted in treating Zack's bite on his arm. 